of the things that I did last year was to pass uh, a bill with Tom Colburn, very conservative Republican, but uh, a sincere fiscal conservative, and we got together uh, and created what we call Google for Government. It's a searchable database where every single dollar of federal spending is posted on the internet so that ordinary voters can take a look. And if they see a bridge to nowhere being built, they know where it's going and who sponsored it. And if they see a no-bid contract going to Halliburton, they can check that out too. I would also curb subsidies to banks making student loans, return earmarks to their 2001 levels, and reform no-bid contracts. I do this because I believe we can have a smarter government that pays its way while investing in our country's future. And as for those programs we do need, I'll make them work better and I'll make them cost less. We'll save billions by cutting waste and improving management and strengthening oversight. And I will finally end the abuse of no big contracts once and for all. The days of sweetheart deals for Halliburton will be over when I'm in the White House. Let's get to it. Fox News Washington correspondent James Rosen joins us live. How'd the president do on that no bid uh, contract? Well, he certainly has talked a good game, and even as president, in March of last year, he signed a memorandum that was supposed to implement tough new guidelines on contracting, and he mentioned once again, no bid contracting is a problem. Uh, but uh, Fox News has uncovered the awarding just this year, early, uh, in last month, January 4th to be precise, of a $25 million no-bid contract by USAID, the U.S. Agency for International Development, uh, to a firm owned by a Democratic Party donor, in fact an early and enthusiastic donor to President Obama's presidential campaign. After Fox News reported this a week ago, uh, it took about a week until we got word that this contract has been cancelled. Uh, and in fact, uh, the State Department tells us it had nothing to do with Fox News' reporting. It was a, as a result of some internal review. Um, but we had a very interesting admission from P.J. Crowley, the Assistant Secretary of State, familiar to many Americans, of course, because he does the uh, on-camera daily briefings uh, for the State Department. And when I reminded him of all of President Obama's statements over the past two years, he said to me, and I quote, You make a valid point. If you want to say this violates the basis on which this administration came into office and campaigned, fair enough.